Gadget Girl here on day 62, starting out from Virginia 670, Tees Road, heading north to Glade Mountain Road. Thankfully, the rain has quit for now anyway, today. And it's really pretty walking, it's nice and cool. Feels refreshing. Small campsite here, a mile in from Virginia 670. Another little campsite, not much further on. Um, it's by a little stream, but the stream looks like it's pretty dry. Might be a little water here and there. Okay, I'm climbing, climbing, climbing. And the hills are full of beautiful ferns. There are a few more of these unusual ferns too that have the kind of semicircular shape up on a tall stem. Doing a little ridge walking now. There's some partial views of mountains off to the side. Not much with the trees coming out in leaf. But it's pretty up here. Not a lot of underbrush, or at least not near the trail. So it feels pretty open. I do believe there is evidence of a bear in these woods. I am looking at Rye Valley. The sign here tells me so. View of Rye Valley. Pretty. There's a big change from when I started. We've got grass that's already gone to seed. Yep. It's pretty much summer, even though it's still officially spring on the calendar. It looks and feels like more rain might be coming. I hope it holds off, but if it doesn't, I got my rain gear, I guess. So it's a little dark this afternoon walking through the rhododendron tunnels since it's a cloudy stormy day, but they're still pretty. So far um, it's just rained lightly, so hopefully that keeps up. Walking on an old roadbed here. Kind of interesting how many of these there are and how they used to crisscross this country and are no longer used i guess most of them were used to extract natural resources a lot of them for logging some for mining maybe and now they provide recreation i like to think back about the people who built these and the type of life that they probably led trying to work for survival and maybe prosper a little bit it was a different country back then people had to be a lot tougher a lot of us including myself probably wouldn't have made it or maybe we would have dug deep and done it and been all the better for it i don't know what do you think? I've reached the partnership shelter. Looks pretty fancy. Nice fire circle. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Gets even fancier. There's a clothesline over there. Very nice privy. 
There's their box. And this is the shelter where you can order pizza and have it delivered. Pretty cool. And I can see why, because we are right behind the Mount Rogers headquarters. Although it's still pretty awesome that pizza will deliver out here because it's still not super close to anything. Little Robin hopping by. And here's a better view of the headquarters building. Here we turn and go right out to the road and across. Four miles to go today and it has started raining harder so I pulled out the umbrella. And here I am crossing Virginia 622. There's Appalachian Trail going straight ahead. Into the woods. And of course, up a hill. The last part of today has been totally obnoxious. It's been very rocky. It's been steep ups and steep downs and rain. So, anyway, hopefully it's not too much longer and I'll have made it through.